Every time I pull out of the garage, I'm going to be experiencing one of the most amazing automotive experiences. You feel like you're in your own uh, car-related movie. I have this car with the dualistic personality, this wow factor, ultimate usability, and then, you know, kind of track preparedness, and it's just in attack mode but have it be so unique and so under the radar and low profile that you can do everything with it. There just aren't a lot of cars you can do everything with. I keep hearing, you know, everything is important. What's that actually mean? And I'm like, literally, it's sine qua non, which means essential to existence. Every single thing within that car is essential to that car existing and encapsulates everything that company really is about. <laughs> My name is Drew Koblitz, and I drive a 1990 Porsche 911 reimagined by Singer Vehicle Design that I've named Sinequinon. I ended up acquiring one of the cars that was already finished. I got a call from Singer. It was basically a, congratulations, I just want to tell you you were a part of the family. The relationship starting like that led its way to, I want to create one that I've designed. Being able to actually work with them and create something that I thought was my perfect 911 was beyond enticing. The best part about Singer is they actually will allow you to be a part of everything when it comes to the aesthetics of your car. If it's how you want the car to feel, how you want the car to sound, they will tweak the dynamic to fit exactly what you want. It's more about what you do with them in creating this car that is a part of the car's story. That's something that I, I think is incredibly special and not often explored by most of the automotive companies today. My car is a fixed wing and the reason why I did it was the fixed wing was a way to get rid of um, somewhere in between 7 and 10 pounds and I think it sets the car apart. The compression and rebound settings have been worked on so perfectly that there's very little difference in being in my Singer and then being in a McLaren or a, a modern Ferrari and in fact it's actually more comfortable than being in almost any modern Porsche GT car and at the same time I don't even need to adjust anything to go right there on the racetrack and be right at home with any of the more modern cars. The only suspension that they've developed for this car lets you experience a 911 with its rear engine bias in a way that you end up basically going five times as fast around a corner, still thinking, oh my gosh, this is still old school 911, and then you realize what you've just done, and you're like, all right, this is really different. I love the aesthetics of vintage cars, and I still think they're some of the most gorgeous bodies and handcrafted interiors that we ever can see. The aesthetic romance goes away very quickly when you don't know if you're going to make it back from a drive. The thing that's so amazing about Singer is it will work every time. And I think the future of a lot of collecting will be how to marry that aesthetic with the reliability and performance level that Singer has managed to combine. They've managed to develop this car that has new school technology, helping it to perform at its max while still retaining all of that old school feel. But the car is such a major piece of kit that the special factor is just there in a way that in modern cars just goes away. And the Singer is the absolute perfect version of a daily driver and a bona fide track weapon and I don't have to adjust it at all. 390 horsepower in a 2750 pound body is going to make for an awful lot of fun time.
The car itself is amazing, but it's the conduit into being a part of this group that has literally become family. We drive them consistently all the time. I mean, if there's a time to drive the car, we want to be driving the car. I can't tell you how valuable they've been. That just goes far above anything specifically material. That bond only gets stronger. When I think of the, the groups of people that I know, the biggest connecting factor is the automotive world. It doesn't matter what kind of car, how successful, the passion behind it is still one of the most important things in bringing people together. And when you go take a drive with someone, you, you watch someone's eyes just light up. They see that there is this perfect amount of hand-built machine versus something that's just produced and then insulated. And I love that. That to me is, is incredibly cool.